Hey, welcome. Thanks for joining me. This is RJ's Cave. Today, we're going to be pondering the question in the quest to make sure that they get a quality instrument as their first instrument. Should a beginner spend up and get a Gibson? Well, we're going to look at uh, quality and value, right? Quality and value. But before we get into it, do me a favor. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you want to see more of this stuff, definitely hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, all right? That way you get messages whenever we drop a new video. And hopefully YouTube gets the message and puts our videos in front of more eyes, okay? Now, should a beginner get a Gibson as their first guitar uh, in their quest to make sure that they get a quality instrument as their first guitar? Okay, um, well, let's look at quality first, okay? Because quality gets into value, so we'll, that should segue us right there naturally, right? So um, quality, when you think of a high-end instrument, you think it should be perfect, right? Uh, Gibson is a high-end instrument that uh, historically has not always been in the, uh, the highest level of of quality when you get it okay it it's just hasn't been uh, the way it should be a lot of times and uh, this has happened on and off throughout its history and it's happened in different ways sometimes it's uh, at least that's what it seems to me okay i am not a historian but for gibson in any uh, way so <laughs> i'm not pretending to be an expert so if anyone wants to fill me in by all means please do so down in the comments but as far as what's just like general knowledge and, and what people discuss Oh, uh, Gibsons have common issues that you would think along the way that they would get uh, evolved out of their instruments. But since 1952, things are more or less the same. So, uh, like, for instance, the, uh, the frets, okay? Recently, they've gotten to this computerized machine that makes sure that all the frets are like as perfect as they can be and they've gotten it down and it seems to be solving most of that issue uh, at least as far as what I know okay but historically speaking they've had a lot of issues with getting that consistent okay uh, lots of times the fret ends stick out way too much a lot of times that the frets just aren't level uh, a lot of times nuts are not finished uh, and cut properly causing all sorts of uh, issues so this is historically speaking. These days, they're under new ownership, and they have a uh, they've they've taken measures to alleviate a lot of the a lot of the old issues, including adding lots of lighting in the factory and making sure that each guitar passes through more hands, so that it, it is inspected more before it leaves the factory. So that's always a good thing. So hopefully, this kind of thing continues. And um, after seeing what happened with them at the last NAM, which I think was the winter in 2019, because 2020, everything, you know. So uh, there, was a, there was a lot of uh, good uh, signs from their displays, as well as their phone displays, about what, was, uh, what the future could be looking like from Gibson, okay? So the future is uh, bright right now, and I am hopeful that they will continue to do great things and continue up that path because Gibson is a name that deserves to uh, be revered, you know, and, and, and it, sh it should be. It's, it's, a, it's, it's one of the two classic tones of rock and roll. I mean, Jesus, I mean, come on, <laughs> you know, how many guys do you know of that, that you know, played it? So it, 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 they can't be subpar, you know? So anyway, well, if you look at the price point, okay, if you look at their lowest price points, they do have some guitars that fall under a thousand dollars. That at that price point, when you start looking at the little niggles that tend to happen with the Gibsons and other guitars too, this is not exclusive to Gibson, but uh, they tend to be okay. That six, seven hundred dollars, if you're having a little, a few fret issues and a little bit of a nut problem, that's easily remedied. You know, that's kind of like, all right, no problem. I'll, I'll spend a couple of extra bucks and I'll do that. But when you're paying $2,000 for $3,000 for an instrument, you shouldn't have to, to then take that instrument and give it to the tech at the shop and tell them to, to finish 
what was, what was undone, what was left undone, I should say, and then they come back a few days later and 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 get it, you know. So that that shouldn't happen. So, but it, and it goes further than that too, and it's not just the Les Paul. It's just kind of you know things happen with with Gibsons. Excuse me. Other designs tend to be neck heavy. Okay. Uh, so uh, other designs when they will when they were first introduced, ended up being flops and only became famous after people who went on to become famous themselves picked them up at pawn shops, okay? So, uh, there's a lot, you know, there's, there's a lot that behind Gibson that's not necessarily uh, what, you, what you think, okay? But back to quality, I think things in, in the future are going to be a lot uh, better. Uh, but I think when you're looking at used, well, actually, you look at used, a lot of the niggles of a new instrument aren't that big a deal. Right? They kind of come into territory. So if you can find a Gibson, say a uh, $1,000 Gibson, say like a uh, Les Paul Studio, and... Um, get that used, it might be worth putting a couple bucks into to finish it off. But on the other hand, anybody who's buying a Gibson is probably gonna get that stuff done. So when you buy it used, you're probably gonna have it in there. So there's that too. But again, back to that, now we're going out back, you know, if we'll just go to the value real quick, you gotta consider that the cost of your first instrument we're talking about your first guitar here not just buying any guitar your first guitar you don't need to commit to a lot of money to get a good enough guitar i hesitate saying good enough because you can get good <laughs> uh you can get a, a pretty good guitar as a beginner's instrument that you don't need really to to worry about any of these costs uh, it's the quality is there to begin with and if it's not the value of the instrument uh, makes it worth spending another thirty dollars sometimes if you've really got to have it. You know what I mean? But you can usually these days with other companies find a really good level of uh, quality and, and, and at really low prices, which is where value really does come in. And don't again, I'm going to say this again: don't overspend on your first instrument. Okay? If you got money and you want to go ahead, but if you always got to remember this could be something that ends up in your closet you never do again at this point. We always got to remember that. We're talking your first instrument, okay? So, uh, yeah, so don't don't be one of those guys that, you know, we hear the story, Grandma pulls a Gibson 30 years from now out of the, out of the attic, you know, and it's worth a uh, million dollars because <laughs> it was something that was rare. So, it was something you barely touched, you know. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so value, you can get better value as a beginner. You can get a lot of value. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could probably spend uh, less than $200 on, the, on, a, on, a, on a decent guitar. Not a great guitar by any means, but a decent guitar. Um, and I, I'm a little more open-minded to what the decent guitar is than a lot of people. But uh, you can usually get a decent guitar and a decent amp for less than two, for, for about 200 bucks. It might be used. All right, you can pick up a PB Raptor for about seventy bucks. All right, those guitars, the guitars are actually pretty solid. The pickups aren't the greatest, but at that price point, you're not getting great stuff. But as a starter, uh, it's okay, and you can easily upgrade those pickups for about another seventy bucks. Not even seventy bucks down the road. Okay, so uh, it it becomes it becomes an easy uh, an easy thing if you need to do it now and you don't have money. You know what I mean? So, so as far as value, you can find value wherever you go and whatever price point you want with guitars these days. And I know some people say, no, you can't, no, you can't. But yeah, I, I can. <laughs> you know? And most people can if they're just willing to be a little flexible, okay? So anyway, uh, where are we at? Okay, yeah, we're right about time. So I think that's going to do it this time, guys. I don't see a whole lot on my list here. Uh, except to ask you guys about your comments, your opinions. Uh, and don't think that I don't like Gibson, because uh, I do. 
I, I would love to own a double cut junior. Absolutely. One of these days, I'm probably going to pick one of those up. Um, but I'm not going to own a, a custom shop Les Paul because I can't see being the guy that's so worried about a guitar. I, I can't. I can't be that guy. Uh, uh, so that's not me. I would love to own Greeny, okay? You know, uh, Kirk Hammett's. Uh, 50, 1959 Les Paul, I would love to own Greeny, but I can't because I'm not that kind of guy. You know, I can't leave it hanging on the wall and not worry about it. Yeah, it's a million dollar guitar. You know, I mean, of course, he plays it. That's what I would do, but I would be worried about it. So, anyway, so do me a favor, guys, opinions. Please put your comments, everything below. Um, I would... Um, keep an eye on, on this channel if I were you because we're going to be doing a lot of different things. We're going to be having a lot of videos posting soon. I'm really trying to like push the channel right now and uh, get out there and get you to, to more and more people. In order to do that, I got to like really start making a little, some more content. So I'm going to be putting a lot out there. Hope you catch your, hopefully catch your attention and keep you here. So subscribe and not get the notifications because you're not going to want to miss uh, uh, some, of, some of what's going on here. I know because I'm going to be trying to do a lot of different, uh, keep it, keep the variety going, but keep it within this theme, right? So any ideas, any comments, please put them in the comments below, put them in every video of mine. You say, I would love to, I would love to uh, do anything that I can as far as ideas with you guys. And um, remember when you, make music you make magic so learn how to make music so you can make magic all right this is rj's cave i'll see you next time take it easy